this breakup just has me thinking about a lot of stuff. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So right now, I am currently in the Burger King parking lot. I did look up on his channel to see what types of food he eats. He does eat everything. Oh, I'm so hungry. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <gasps> they have a Hershey Sunday pie. I've actually been kind of craving. Thank you. Okay. Let's get into the food. So this is what the Hershey Sundays look like. It, the pictures always look so much better. I always get tricked by pictures. Like that's, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, you can't tell on, now. can you tell now how small it is? <laughs> but when it's like close, it looks massive. Okay, I'm gonna go for these first because I really like onion rings. Mm -hmm. Are the onion rings the best? I mean, not really. You know what this face reminds me of? Have you ever played Chubby Bunny? What if I played Chubby Bunny with these? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. You know why working out and eating healthy is so good? Because when you have meals like this, it tastes so much better. Mm. It's like a beautiful package. Oh. Look at that. I mean, honestly, I'll, like, I'll be honest with you, I love Whoppers. At one point, I was definitely Burger King over McDonald's, but I think that's changed over time. Just with like the coffee and all the stuff that they've done. But at one point, Whoppers were my one true love. But the more I eat it, the meat is kind of like reminiscent, like I hate to say it, but it's kind of reminiscent of cardboard. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Oh, it tastes like cardboard, but I love it. Mm. Is this like Taco Bell? Everything tastes so similar, but I love it. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Mm. 
you know, I was thinking. I was thinking how. All fast food places should offer what Chick fil A offers the unsweetened iced tea. Oh, well, these onions aren't, onion rings aren't the best. Mmm. Maybe we should do Wendy's next time. Mmm. So, a lot of people want to know whether or not I'll ever talk to him. Because still to this day, him and I have not spoken. One on one. We haven't even met. Now my thing is, I'm a very forgiving person. I believe in forgiveness. I'm very big on forgiveness. I think forgiveness is a very important thing for two reasons. One, actually there's only one reason really. This is because it's not good to harbor ill feelings towards someone because you're not hurting them. You're just hurting yourself. All that anger, all that pent up energy. You know what I mean? All of that is just being stuck inside of you. And yeah, you could freak out. Yeah, you could tell them how you feel about them. But at the end of the day, the only person that you're hurting is yourself. So I'm really big on forgiveness for that reason. Because there's just no point. Also, like, I, I just don't like hating people. I hate hating people. I love people. I really do. I love animals. I love people. Do I get annoyed by the human race sometimes? I mean, yeah, but do I blame the human race? No. Look at me. Look at the breakdowns I was having last year, you know? I had a lot to learn. I had a lot to grow. And I did. Thank God, right? This is the spicy chicken. I'm going to eat the... The po the poisson. poisson. I, I dropped out of... I, the minute I got a chance to drop out of French class, I did. And I took Spanish. <laughs> and I dropped out of that too. <laughs> I thought it was going to be so much better. And then I realized it was literally... It's just a, It's the same learning... It's the same learning curve, just a different language, and I gave up, unfortunately, just because I didn't really have parental guidance, or I didn't have someone there from a young age telling me to focus on something. I already had a very difficult time focusing. Like When I was a kid, I was running around all the time, always getting in trouble. No one could ever control me. I couldn't even control myself. I was very, like, even my friend Zach, he told me, we met up recently, we went out, we got a coffee and he's like, Veronica, you've always been a high functioning ADHD child. He's like, you don't remember how you were as a kid? He's like, you were nuts. <laughs> oh. mm. 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 I like it because I can see, can you see the fibers? Like it looks like fish meat. Imagine if I could stuff this whole thing in my mouth. Let's try. But it's the thing. I've had really good friends, people who I've actually met, people who I've had relationships with for a very long time, give me negative energy, put me down, do bad things to me. And my whole thing is just, when someone does that to you, it's very, it's not hard for me to forgive them, but it's very hard for me to trust them again. And it's very hard for me to want to meet or talk to them anymore. Just because, like, I'll give you an example. My friend, we have been friends since high school. Really, really good friends, actually. But she's always putting me down. Always talking about me. Putting me down. And to me, yeah, sure, we all have our moments where we get upset. You know, we feel frustrated. 
you know, sometimes our frustration comes out in odd ways. But you should, if, if there's a constant narrative of you treating someone lesser than you, that's not good. And so that's what I try to make my friend understand is that she always treated me lesser than her. She always talked about me. You know, she's always doing things that just not what a real friend does. And recently I was having a really hard time and a really, really hard time. And this was my breaking point because I was already down and she kicked me further. Why? What? And I told her, I'm like, look, like, I love you. We've been friends forever. But until you change, we can't hang out. We can't talk anymore. Because I'm always going to be receiving on the receiving end of your negative energy. And I really can't have that. I'm trying to grow as a person. I'm trying to better my life. And if, if I'm always on the receiving end of your negative energy, it's not going to be good. Not only for my mental health, but just my physical well-being. And so, and so I told her, I'm like, look, like I love you. We've been friends forever. But I just can't have this anymore. My truly breaking point. <laughs> my true breaking point was like i'm already i'm already at my lowest point you kicked me further that's that's like that's the point where i'm like no no more so that's why this situation online i mean there's so many things that have already happened online i couldn't even begin to tell you i couldn't I, I wouldn't even know where to start to be honest with you so much has happened but just as my principle when that stuff all happened you know, I was going through a very, very difficult time. And you know what? Maybe he didn't know, right? I mean, I did post many videos. There was a video that I posted, I'm not okay, I promise. There was a video where I talked about my mom. There was literally a talk about video of me crying. I got, I just got kicked further down. And even though these people didn't know that, and at the end of the day, it's, it, it's not for them to know, right? But I still, I still experienced it. And for me, I was already down and then I got kicked further. I mean, I've had friends for years where I've stopped talking to them because I'm like, you know what? Like, I can put up with sometimes you being a crappy friend. I can put up with sometimes you not being there for me. I can put up sometimes with you maybe saying left-handed things that shouldn't be said. But, you know, we all get frustrated and we sometimes want to look to, to our friend group, right, to, to say something. But I'm like, I cannot put up with you kicking me when I'm already down. That is my, that's my stopping point. That's where it ends for me. So... It's difficult for me. Not to mention, I mean, the things that were said and done were honestly insane. I'm going to go for a little guy here. <laughs> My wig's cap's coming off and it's just like pushing it up. Let me fix this first. <laughs> I look like a penis. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yum. Okay, let's go for it. It's melty. I like it when it's melty, though. No, it's just a hard situation. And then there's just certain things that really... That I just think are not okay. Mmm. <laughs> This breakup just has me. Thinking about a lot of stuff. Whoa, this is the last one. <coughs> Mm. 
anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that answers your question on whether or not um i would ever speak to him i just feel like personally for me like what just what i believe in and, and where my boundaries are i just think the worst thing that you can ever do to someone is kick them when they're already down they're already down you're gonna you're gonna push them down further you know what i mean they're already not in a good space so yeah i don't know We'll see. Only time will tell, right? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this car. <laughs> um, it's cute, right? The orange. And yeah, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see you on the second channel. Love you guys. Bye.